All right, Taurus, I feel like you just had like a major ending, something really heartbreaking. Um, but it's been, there's been a little bit of time now. Um, and you're sort of just now starting to see growth after planting seeds after this big ending that you had. So it's like if you were in a big breakup and then you started a new business to get your mind off of that, but also start a new life for yourself down this new path. It's like, I feel like you're starting to see the rewards of your efforts now. Um, two of Pentacles. I feel like you just got a lot kind of going on. Um, <clears throat> this distraction has allowed you um, reflection. And Five of Pentacles here, I feel like you're sort of reflecting back to this time. I feel like it was with a person. You know, it was just like this time of like emotional poverty. Okay, so yeah, Chariot. So I feel like this is just you <clears throat> standing in your power now. After all this, after this heartbreak, something, this ending, but it like it catapulted you, it changed you. Yeah, it catapulted you into a new direction. The Fool, Aries energy. <clears throat> My throat's a little messed up, guys. I don't know if you guys are smoking or are having trouble speaking up about something. Yeah, okay, Ace of Swords. I feel like you guys are having trouble speaking up about something. Or there's some information that you're... No, I feel like it's information you're waiting to come in. I don't know if you guys heard that crow in the distance. They call them... I was going to say a group of crows, but they call them a murder of crows when there's a bunch of them out there. And they hang out on my property here. And uh, they're just always in the background. It's, it's pretty wild. So that was clarification from them that I feel that this is communication you're waiting to come in. Page of Swords. Yep. Further clarification. King of Cups. Water energy. So I feel like, what else is going on here? Nine of Wands. Yeah, you're feeling like even though you've moved on in this new direction, you're pretty beat up. And it's like, maybe it's like a, an overdue apology, something like that. That's the vibe I'm getting here. And you're really burdened by it. Like, this is something you need to hear. Um, I mean, you know, it's easy for everybody to say, oh, just move on, you know, and just forgive and do all this stuff. Yeah, of course, we do do that. But there's a part of us that knows that if it did actually come through, it could be the type of thing that could create even more growth in your life, you know, by having like a, a, a place of forgiveness, with the person. Um, the tower. Aries energy. And judgment. This, to me, feels like something that, yeah, it was pretty big. You know? And you do deserve to hear this from this person um and spirit knows this too and i feel like spirit is creating all sorts of towers in this person's life and they just can't seem to see the writing on the wall that if they reach out to you and do this and crush those parts of their ego maybe that's just it Maybe they just can't do that. And that's why spirit is so on them because spirit knows for them to change would be a monumental thing. You know, could change, it could create a ripple effect. You know, who knows? Um, but I feel like spirit's got your back. Um, now, maybe it's just, 
Maybe you're just watching from the sidelines. Yeah, you're watching from the sidelines. Something is happening in this person's life. Five of Wands here. Maybe this shit's just falling apart around them. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you feel bad for them. Like you're seeing that what they've done has, has got them stuck now dealing with like karma. They're like stuck in karmic cycles now. The world. They're like in... It's like this person has created this like... Weird fairy tale around them. Like they're in La La Land. I'm sorry, but this doesn't this doesn't feel like I don't get good a good energy from this person at all. <sighs> Six of Wands. Taurus, I feel that you know, I know I said it before, people just say, Oh, you're just gonna move on. I, I don't know what else you're supposed to do at this point. You know, um, it'll be nice when it does come through and it probably will come through one day, but there has to be something else put in place here to help catapult you forward without the idea of this person coming back around. Maybe think about, okay, look at it this way. Think about what it would do if they came back around, like where you think it would place you, right? Now, why don't you just think about getting to that same place without them coming back around? Like, they've just kind of... The idea of them coming back around just sets the benchmark in your mind. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I feel pretty good about that. And, um, Taurus, you guys are awesome. Uh, I like reading for you guys a lot. And you guys have a good energy. So, I hope everything works out for you guys. Yeah, this is you guys right now. Nine of Cups, just stand in your power, your emotional power, or just get back to this, or maintain this. Don't lose this, okay? Just stay here. Don't let anybody remove you from here. As, as soon as somebody try, tries to remove you from this place, you know they're not for you. Somebody should just meet you right there and just hang out with you. Be like, hey, can I just hang out with you? I, I'm not trying to pull you in any direction. I just want to sit there with you on your bench and talk and be your friend, Right? All right, Taurus, I'll talk to you guys next time. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and if you'd like a reading, hit me up in the email.